Welcome to West Bengal Judicial Service Preparation. Hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to discuss about the Assam Judicial Service Examination 2021. Yes, the notification for Assam Judiciary Service is out. This examination is conducted by the Guwahati High Court. Now let us check out what we will see today. Firstly, the number of vacancies for this post, the age and qualifications scheme and syllabus of the examination and the important dates okay now let's start first of all the vacancies for unreserved category there are 13 posts for scheduled caste there are 4 posts then for stp there is 3 posts and for sth there is 2 posts that is a total number of vacancies are 22 post so it is a biggest opportunity for those who are waiting for this notification now let's check out check out the age limit and the qualification must be a citizen of india of course that is the obvious criteria of every examination must have an llb degree from an recognized university thirdly the age limit should be 38 years for unreserved category and 43 years for the scheduled caste or the scheduled tribes. Now let us move on to the scheme of the syllabus. So the examination will be conducted in three stages. Firstly, the PT that is the preliminary test or the screening test that is of 100 marks. Next we have the mains examination that is of descriptive type our written examination of 450 marks then we have the interview of 50 marks so this is quite a uh, small pattern of examination with less number of subjects so anyone can easily crack it now let's move on to the syllabus for each of the subjects for the preliminary test we have to study for these subjects which are as follows the general knowledge aptitude then we have the constitution, then criminal procedure code, then the civil procedure code, the Indian Evidence Act, Indian Penal Code, Transfer of Property Act, the Indian Contract Act and TORTS. And these uh, all subjects are for 90 marks and for 10 marks we have the Assamese language that is the official language of the state of Assam. So you have to know this language. You cannot help it out. Now, Next, we have the syllabus for the mains examination. So there are five papers for the mains examination. So let's discuss one by one in details. Firstly, paper one containing 100 marks. For that we have essay writing, precy writing and grammar. Basically a language paper in English. So quite pretty easy. Next we have the uh, paper two that is of 100 marks containing general knowledge, objective types and aptitude. Next we have paper number 3, this is also of 100 marks, containing Constitution of India, Code of Civil Procedure, Contract Act and the Transfer of Property Act. Next there is the paper number 4, containing Criminal Procedure Code, Indian Penal Code, the Indian Evidence Act and TORTS. This is also of 100 marks. Then there is another paper that is a language paper that is the official language of the state of Assam of 50 marks. This is a qualifying paper means you have to just qualify for this paper the marks will not be added in the finals that is you have to appear for a total number of 400 marks for this examination now let's move on to the uh, important dates now, after the mains examination you have to appear for the interview which i forgot to mention that is also 50 marks now, now let's check out the important dates so the submission of online application starts from 11th of June and then we have the last date of submission of the online application that is 28th June and the last date for submission of fees is uh, 1st July. Now let's check out how much fees is required for uh, filing this application for unreserved category rupees 500 and for STST rupees 200. Here I am providing the link also where, through which online application can be submitted. Hope you find this video helpful. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Happy watching.